Hello again, everyone. Joe Pasillo with the front line with Joe and Joe. And once more, let us go into the breach. And into the breach is where you're going when you're talking about Africa and LGBT. Okay. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to play two clips for you and we'll do a little commenting. This is in the White House press room. This is now, I don't know why this is not considered racism because the, the people that are being attacked for their quote unquote anti LGBT stance are Africans who have black skin. Okay. Yet these people are not called, these white liberal Western elitists are not called racists or colonialists or anything like that when they want to impose their secular values on a mostly religious continent. Okay. So let's play this and we'll, and then I'm going to show you another clip after it. Today, the Ugandan parliament uh, voted in favor of an anti homosexuality bill um, and is set to host a summit uh, soon with other African nations on potentially passing other bills across the continent. Um, it's my understanding that Ambassador Thomas Greenfield uh, spoke to the Ugandan president about this bill. I, I, I asked this question because I, sources tell me that Russia uh, may be playing a major role in the influence of this larger anti-LGBTQ movement and is using it as a wedge between the U.S. and Africa. Uh, considering the U.S. is currently engaging with Africa on other issues, um, is this a concern for the U.S.? Oh, it, of course it is. I mean, and President Biden has been uh, nothing but consistent uh, about his uh, belief, foundational belief in human rights and LGBTQ plus rights are human rights. Uh, and uh, we, again, back to the earlier question, are never going to shy away and be bashful about speaking up for those rights and for, uh, uh, for individuals to live as they deem fit, as they want to live. And that's something that's a core part of our foreign policy, and it, and it will remain so. So what you got there, okay, is I'm going to pull up this other clip real quick. Um, but what you, what you have there is Anthony Blinken basically saying that um, that the United States is going to um, promote these quote-unquote Western values, LGBT values, okay? Obviously, Russia's the bad guy. All right, let's throw Russia in the mix, okay? Because they're getting in the middle of this and they're having an influence. And we've said before on the show, okay, I don't care what you think about the war in the Ukraine. OK, and that's a tragic situation. Russia is not accepting of these things. They're not accepting of these LGBT, so-called LGBT values. You know who else is not? Africans. So, Mr. Blinken, what you're really saying is you're going to cut off all of Africa because Africa, whether they're Christian or whether they're Muslim, they're not going for this. Here's another one I saw. South Africa, uh, they're saying that 58 percent of South Africans disagree with the LGBT rights or whatever the case might be. Now they're attacking black South Africans. How do they get around that? Because I don't understand. See, what they're doing, a lot of these Western liberal elites, is after decades and decades and decades of railing against Western colonialism, whether it be in India, whether it be in Africa, and we can't impose our values on them. Really? Because now it seems to us that that's exactly what you're doing is imposing your values on them. So let's play this clip. Um, and this gentleman is also from Uganda. He represents Uganda. And let's listen to what he has to say. Mr. Chairman, our concern as a Uganda is on the process, which is always followed before making all these commitments. For example, human rights, because some of us, we do want our societies to be considered when you're defining some of these aspects. For example, in Uganda, issues of LGBT and homosexuality, I can tell you, and uh, abortion are issues that can never be accepted and we shall not pass laws which we shall be uh, around them. If people do want to be uh, homosexuals or what, we don't have a problem. Let them go and have their life. But promotion of that in our country can never be accepted. And then when I heard someone saying that these are human rights which you must be respected, they are universal. I just want to assure you, they can never, they can never. So what does it help for you to sign an agreement which we can never domesticate? 
if you went and talked to our ambassador, our minister, and you made resolutions, I'm the deputy speaker of parliament. I can assure you the parliament I, I lead will never pass laws that are going to be against our values. And I received one of the packs from Renew Europe, and they had written on values not for sale. African values can never be exchanged for European funding. That one can never. So I request that we define human rights so that we know the boundaries. Human rights, we don't involve issues of LGBT. We don't involve issues of abortion because that is on the core of the African culture and society. Amen, brother. Thank you, uh, Mr. Amen. Chairman. Let me just cut that off real quick. I'm the one. Who now, did you hear what he said very boldly, very clearly? I mean, American conservatives, listen up, okay? Listen to this man. Africa has it right. By the way, he said we're not going to exchange African values for European funding. That means American funding, too. Because that's what that's what the rich Western nations are going to try to do to Africa. They're going to they're going to force them. They're going to coerce them into accepting all this in their laws or else you ain't getting any money. It really is that simple. All right. And this brave gentleman, the brave people of Uganda, Nigeria is going through the same thing. They're being questioned by the liberal press. What are you going to do about LGBT rights? They can't even define what LGBT rights are. They What are they? The right not to be beaten? The right not to be murdered? Well, that's already in the law. Nobody can beat you. Nobody can murder you. As he said, you want to live your life. He's talking about the promotion of these things. That's what he just said. Those are his words, okay? This is a member of parliament in Uganda. He says, we're not going to promote it. And, if you're, and, and we're not going to accept your dollars at the expense of our culture. Why? Because their culture believes that there are two genders, man and woman. They have children. They have families. Okay. Um, whether they're Muslim, many cases are Muslim, many cases, cases they're, they're Christians in general and Catholics in particular. And they're just quite simply not going for this, Joe Biden. They're not going for this, Mr. Blinken, Secretary Blinken. They're not going for this at the EU. I'll tell you a couple of people that would be backing up this gentleman from Africa. Giorgio Maloney in Italy would be backing him up. Kathleen Novak from Hungary would be backing him up, okay? Many others in Europe would be backing him up saying, no, 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 we're not for this stuff either. And even if they are for this stuff, again, I'm going to go back to my original point. We are told we're not supposed to, that the greatest sins in history uh, involves colonialism. The English in India, the French in, in, in Northern Africa, the Spanish and the Portuguese up the Congo and all of it, okay, the Belgians. It was the most horrible thing. You can't impose your values on these people. Really? Because that's exactly what you're doing. And, and the Africans are telling you exactly where to stick your values.